this is the masking which we were trying to do. So this is with image. So I'm just, I have just taken a text on one layer and then there's a image I've given a classic green just moving up and down. Now I'm going to mask the text. So once text mask is done, it will show like this. So now in the previous example, I made the circle here. In the previous example, as you can see, I made the circle as a mask and then it just moved up and down. I mean, moved to the side. And what, what, uh, what layer is masked directly under it is masked within the shape and what is outside will be visible. So here, it's the same thing I have done. I've just made the image move. The text is as it is. So I can even make the background black or something looks nice or dark blue like this. it's good for showing any for titles movie titles and all that so just creates that and then you can also make it stop in between and then just let it go let it be just let it be stable for some time because when it's moving it's difficult and afterwards it should stop if it doesn't uh, show right, then you know you break the text. In some sometimes it doesn't work directly the text. So that time convert that into a shape. So break the text twice, then your mask will work. Now next we'll go to another type of masking. Masking will be with a similar example, but it'll be you, you can use it for like like the Discovery Channel logo where the Earth goes around and then it looks like gives a three D effect. So that can be done. So for this, bring an image. I have a flattened globe image with me. Now see like this, the globe turn is what we have made actually. Mm -hmm. So we'll be doing with the help of masking and the 3D effect is created in animate. It is not a 3D glow which you have taken. into how to make it look like that. So now I'm going to get that image. So if I go to globe turn masking, this is a flat globe image. Okay, so this image will make it as big as we want. So proportionally scale it, then make a copy of that. Let it be exactly in the same position. So both should be aligned properly. So select these two and control G, group it. Next, on the circle. Keep that next to. Now you see there's a two Africas which are there. See this is one Africa, this is one Africa. So the, the position where I'm placing exactly where the Africa is a little bit protruding. So that positioning is very important for us. And this will be the globe image, which is bottom, which is the bottom of that. And this will be our circle that will be the globe now we are going to animate the image like how we animated the image in this in the text that so f5 and f6 only the image will get moving so select right click and then say create classic tool say okay now we're going to move the image from one place to another place here Stopping exactly same position where we started out there. Africa protruding out. So when you control enter, it just goes and is now normal thing. Make this as a mask. So when you make it into mask, it just goes this way. Now 
right it's just similar to yeah very simple flag if uh, there is a uh, little bit jerk there while uh, the globe is moving move the globe little bit this side or that side to match it so that it gives you a smooth seamless movement see chuk chuk it is happening so something problem now we have to adjust that It, this is called as a seamless movement. There's no uh, bifurcation. You can't make out the difference between the first image and the second. Should go. So positioning is to be maintained correctly. After that comes in the we give the three D look. Three D look. You know how you create. So how you create a circle and a sphere by just using gradient. If I use a circle like this in another. Thing I'll show. If I use a circle like this, it looks flat. Similarly, if I use, if I put a circle, if I give a, this gives you three D look, isn't it? It looks like a sphere. So we're going to use the same method to make this look like that. So for that, we are going to put one more mask. So select the globe there. This will delete that. Then we'll duplicate that layer. Then this also become a mask, but this has to be a masked layer, so not the mask. So go to the property and change that from becoming being a mask layer to normal layer first. It becomes a normal layer, and you know both has to be masked inside. Just drag and drop, drag inside. Top layer, top right. If you push, it goes inside the mask. Now. Let's close the top one. Let the top one be as it is. The bottom, the second one, what you have put, this is where this object is going to be visible within the mask. And for this, we shall give a gradient look. So we'll put a gradient like this. And this gradient is opaque. You can't make out anything. See, now the globe is not visible because this is totally opaque. So we are going to make this little transparent. So go into the color layer. Click here. And we are going to reduce the opacity. There are two color stops: the white in the center, black in the outside. The white in the center, we are going to reduce the opacity. Alpha is here. Okay, for this one, reduce the opacity around fifteen percent, depending on how dark your globe image is. See, now it is showing. See, it's already showing that globe look. Then, also, we are going to adjust the color stops in the edge of it. So the last thing, the black one, also will reduce the opacity to around eighty percent or so, or so, like this. Now see, now it came up. Yeah. This, the whole thing has to go inside a shape or something. So for that, we'll use one more technique called as the symbols. Symbols will be uh, soon after finishing masking. We'll go to symbols only. So this symbols we shall introduce here. I shall introduce here. What I'll do is I shall. Copy everything and add it as one single entity. I want all this animation into one object. What I'll do is I'll select all the frames, right click, and say copy frames. Okay. Then go to insert menu, click on new symbol. So let this symbol be movie clip. Yeah, or we'll make it graphic uh, symbol first, and we'll say globe turn. So globe turn, now it made an empty symbol because we said insert new symbol. So there's nothing there. So now we are going to add that copied frames and make it as paste frame. So basically, now we are inside a symbol timeline. So in that symbol timeline, we added globe turn. So when you click on this arrow, we'll come back to the parent timeline. So whatever symbol we make will be saved in your library. So now if I take a flat globe, globe turn symbol, if I just drag it, see, it comes as one entity. I can put anything. Then the animation will be happening inside. So this whole thing we shall delete. Anyway, the copy is already there. Delete the layer. Delete the layers from here. 
then one layer will remain and then that we should bring it from the globe turn which we already have prepared itself. Anything you need to edit when you double click on the symbol it will take you to the symbol editing timeline. So when you come back, when you want to come back to parent timeline, just click here and come back to parent timeline. This is how it works. Now I can place it anywhere I want. So now this will work here. Yeah, another thing is since it's a graphic symbol, I need to increase the number of frames to so F5. Some, how much ever we have used here, how much we've used inside that. At least 50 frames. At least 50 frames should be there on the parent timeline. But there's no need to add any layers or anything. This layer has got three layers inside. Now this is going to work. I can resize it. It becomes like an animated object. I can put it anywhere I want. Then I'm going to use the discovery text and then add that globe there. Usually the ones which is there. Increase the size of the object. Can break that and just do a bigger color. Usually it's white, you know, color is white and the stage color will be dark. Let's use this color. Then D, break it twice, and then you can make a copy of this circle. Yeah, right now, I'm going to make a circle as big as our globe. Then keep that globe on the discovery thing there. Since the merge model just eats away that thing, so it makes space for our globe to set it up. So, just see. This is how we make the this is using masking data, masking and using a graphic symbol. Got it, you'll try. Mm, I'm sure you're gonna like masking.